the captain's quarters, past a horde of unspeakable fleshy horrors! There, I found a skeleton key possessed by the spirit of a keelhauled stowaway named Paul! He's now guiding me through a dark wood to the spire of racking despair! Quiet, stay still. Hey, uh, you really saved my ass, friend. Thank you. Now, uh, what was I doing here again? Oh, right. I almost forgot that I can't remember anything. It's my curse. Name's Burton. Burton Briggs. But I think I go by Bert. 
Let's try it out. Call me Bert. Uh, what's up, Bert? No, that's not right. Bert and it is. So, what's your story, friend? Dealing with a cursed ring, but I'm a little in the dark and I need some recon. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old uh, lonesome shop. Now that we're working together, here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. Really? You don't have to... It all started... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Ah, never mind. You're busy. Your attractive friend is never gonna like you back, you know! Isn't there something more important you should be doing with your life right now? Whatever. Just die! Now that was a Brigham Felis Idol. She is known for luring cats into clothes dryers. I am quite serious. Always check your dryer before you start a load, lest you make the same mistake I once made. Poor Petey. Shit! 
but you were just a huge fart. Open the door. You there, just wait. Uh, my husband's clearing the blood trap. We'll be with you shortly. Just between us, Vault Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but now we are embroiled in occult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. It's the wedding I always dreamed of.
The archives keep strange, unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. <laughs> Only way in is through the old librarian, Harriet. Hey. I need to get into the archives. It's a matter of life and death. And curses. Would you keep your voice down? This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet. Let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locket, didn't I? Oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. Why'd that work? I wasn't sure if that lock a bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room to find what you're searching for. The holo projector will have some info on the town's history. Bye. May they bring you many kills. 
Ka-ching! That's the sound of opportunity. Day one. My name is Eleanor Olmsted. My beloved and I have arrived on the rim world of Xylorgos. We have finally found the beast of legend after years of chasing its name across the stars. Gideon. Supposedly it means eater of hearts, but the original language is dead and lost to time. A charming introduction as ever, Vincent, my love. Gideon's physiology can only be described as otherworldly. Though its body is dead, its heart still beats. This requires further study. Who knows what xenobiological revelations it has for us? This is the start of a whole new life for us, my darling. Right, right. The founders. Vincent and Eleanor Olmsted. Uh, you'll find more holotapes around the archives. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, I'll let you handle this bit. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. Uh, I must be stoically pensive. If I were the Olmsteads, I'd hide my past where nosy citizens wouldn't happen across it. Wait, am I an Olmstead? No, 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 that's not right. I'm Burden. Burden Briggs. Or Burt. Here they come. 
Pepper cuts in lemon juice. May he and his foul, stinging works never trouble our shores again. Good riddance. Thank <laughs> you. 